name's Jess. Um, this group's magic and we're doing a sponsor for uh, mental health. <laughs> what are you raising the money for? Me. <laughs> 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 uh, we'll keep the group that to keep the vital funds going. Well, we've got, I think we've made up to 100 already, so I think wow. we're getting there, yeah. So this kind of pays you rent for you to meet yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, and for the activities as well for the group. And why is that important to keep that group because, going? you know, people, there's vital people in um, there. They rely on it. There's lots of people that rely on. And just, you know, to keep people... The isolation kills people. So just to stop the isolation, something to do, somewhere to come to talk to for like-minded people. Support for people in the community, people, people who haven't got, people who don't have that support. Awareness of the group and to have the stigma of mental illness, to, uh, um, to fight the stigma of mental illness. Because there's so many people in Blackpool who need help and support and are suffering. And, the reason and this is really highlighting to the general it's public. Vital. About, yeah. about mental illness. Yeah. I think you're looking at the services now because of government cutbacks and not being political, but things are just getting like cut back and cut back and cut back. You can't even access mental health services now. It helps to reduce social isolation yeah. and peer-to-peer uh, -peer support. It's, it's wonderful. It's what we sadly lacking in services. We've all made some great friends. It helps us, on, it helps us all on our road to recovery. It and that's does. what it's about at the end of the day, is recovery. Yeah. We need to raise the profile of mental health. We need to raise the awareness. And it's groups like this that make people feel included and make people feel like they actually are wanted. Before this group, I didn't feel wanted. I didn't feel like I had friends that cared. But like I say, I've met my two best friends through this group yeah. and they've totally just, they've loved on me and they've just given me everything that I need. Like, I'm a lot happier now than I was four months ago when I first, when I first found out that I had BPD. And these small groups are just that place where people can, you know, they can meet, they can film, you know, in a non-judgmental environment can just um, receive that peer support that they need, um, which sometimes can be better than you know, seeing a professional or you know, confiding in the family that it's just having that place that people can, you know, they can go to. Like, even this today is like very awkward for me, but like, I want to just like, I've got to try and like push myself to do this damn thing. And obviously I, I want to help out the group because I've realised what an impact it can have yeah. people. You know. I know plenty of people in the, you know, in the group are quite nervous about it, but it's good that we've actually um, got out and done it. It may seem like um, probably easy to a lot of people, you know, they could just rock up and do it, but um, so many different thoughts going into your head <laughs> yeah. when you're using the matters, especially yeah. when you're so socially anxious. People looking at you, even if they're just, they might even not even be looking at you, they're actually looking at the group as a whole. They might even be looking at the group and thinking, yeah. wow, look at those cool yeah. people dressed up, but or, you don't see that in yeah. yourself, do you, when you're suffering? Or looking in your, in the general direction, yeah. not actually at you. And not even notice you there, yeah. <laughs> you know. What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Where you, what's your aim? What do you need to get there? What can we do to help? And that might be get out of our way. Okay, yeah, that's get out exactly. of your way. I do what, what you do.